ladies and gentlemen, and being a producer of Wrestle Massacre, as well as Inside Movies Galore, I am David Stregi, and welcome to Delusions of Grandeur. Enjoy the reviews. I certainly did. That's it. Screw you and your college flunkies. I've had enough of this from you and from everyone else. I know what you guys are trying to do. Break me down, drive me out of the force. Well, it's gonna take a hell of a lot more than a lame prank like this to get Curtis Mooney to throw in his badge, so fuck you. Over. Did you miss me? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Delusions of Grandeur. I am one of your hosts, uh, and this time I'm going to go on and review a film that I've already discussed with a friend, and I think I discussed it uh, with my friend Boris first, so that I could kind of gauge my own thoughts on this uh, film. I ended up getting a copy of The Secret Life of Walter Mitty from my good friend uh, Dustin, who runs the Crypt of Horrors here on YouTube. Um, and uh, I had not realized that there was an original uh, film of The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Um, I found out that it was directed by Norman Z. McLeod. Um, it was produced by Samuel Goldwyn. And it was written by Ken England, Everett Freeman, and Philip Rapp, from what I understand. But uh, Freeman and... England were the main screenwriters, and uh, supposedly this was loosely based on uh, a short film by a, a guy by the name of James Thurber. Now, the film was, uh, the film stars Danny Kaye and uh, Virginia Mayo, and... Uh, it also has Boris Karloff in it. Um, and what's interesting is uh, some of the background of this uh, uh, this uh, this film. Evidently, they the screenwriters had gone to Thurber and consulted with him, but. Um, any advice that Thurber had given them, they ignored. <laughs> um, and then the story was changed so much. In fact, uh, the bathroom scene in this film appalled him so, uh, so much um, that... <laughs> He said it was a bathing girl incident which will haunt me all the days of my life. <laughs> um, evidently, because Danny Kay was brought in, 
and they used Danny Kaye's talents in, in this uh, f film. Whatever they did to the script, they altered the story so much that Thurber called the film the public life of Danny Kaye. <laughs> so, because his things were ignored and the story was changed so much, I think that Thurber was totally against the uh, film to begin with. Now, Samuel Goldwyn had briefly changed the film's title to I Wake Up Dreaming. But it turns out that there was actually a 1941 novel of the same name. But when Thurber and Thurber's fans ended up uh, protesting the uh, film in Collier's Weekly, he changed it back to The Secret Life of Walter, oh, Walter Mitty. Um, What I didn't know about uh, about the uh, uh, the uh, film during my discussion with my fr uh, friend Boris is that uh, the, the songs were written by Sylvia Fine. Well, Sylvia Fine um, wrote the lyrics to Anatola Paris and that unsung uh, of uh, tongue song, um, and Sylvia Fine was uh, in fact the uh, wife of Danny Kay. Uh, the writer behind the songs that he ultimately became known for in this film. Now let's go uh, go to the film. Uh, the film is about Walter Mitty and he is from Perth Am uh, 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 Perth Amboy, New Jersey. Um, he is controlled uh, and harassed by everyone uh, uh, meaning his mother, um, his overbearing, idea-stealing uh, boss, Bruce Pierce, with uh, Pierce Publishing, um, his <laughs> dim-witted fiancée, Gertrude Griswold, uh, and her domineering and obnoxious uh, mother, Gertrude has a pet poodle that she names Queenie that doesn't get along with uh, 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 with him. She even dresses him and places him or her a, a place at the table to eat. Uh, I hate people like that. And of course the, uh, there is the obnoxious suitor uh, of Tubby Wadsworth which Gertrude seems to be going back and forth, uh, forth between to decide whether she wants to marry the fellow or not. And uh, Danny Kay, um, his character, uh, Walter Mitty, he works for, like I said, a publishing com a company. But, uh, but the co publishing company is known for like um, pulp magazine type uh, stuff, steamy, uh, 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 steamy adventures, um, uh, underwater with vampires, um, in hospitals, you you name uh, you name it. But uh, but uh, in the last eleven years, <laughs> most of the ideas have been from. Uh, Walter Mitty's char uh, 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 character, and um, uh, you can see here in especially a meeting uh, th that uh, he has that he his boss takes credit for his ideas, um, and the people involved in Mitty's life, they dumb him down so much that uh, 
he ultimately daydreams. Um, he, he he dreams that he's a is he is a fighter uh, a pilot, and then um, there's a scene where uh, where he ends up uh, <laughs> <coughs> acting like this German music te uh, teacher, which is hilarious. Um, and uh, th there are various daydreams where he uh, it seems like he's a, a steamboat car de deal uh, uh, dealer, uh, the excellent of his kind, um, things of that nature. Um, uh, uh, there, uh, there are times where he daydreams where he's like the uh, the best gunslinger in the West. You know, things of that na uh, nature. There are t uh, times where he um, thinks uh, he has a daydream about uh, the fact that maybe he could be a ship's captain uh, at one point in time. I mean, the these are so, uh, some of the delirious daydreams. Um, the, he even daydreams about uh, a man who makes hats for women but really hates women in general. <laughs> making fun of a, an actual real uh, uh, hat maker who, who makes like uh, the most obscene looking hats you know so um, I think that's why I enjoy the uh, enjoy the film I I know that the film uh, this uh, film itself probably strayed from its original material and to be honest I think that, uh, that uh, the producer was actually probably quite <laughs> rude towards uh, Mr. Thurber who originally wrote the short story um, I think this was his kind of I don't know. If it, it feels like to me uh, a reading about about the background of this uh, uh, film, it seems like this film was like a ha ha. This is my work, not y uh, not yours now. Kind of a, th a thing between producer Sam Samuel Goldwyn and Thur uh, Thurber. It's like one took a dislike to the other, yet liked the original uh, 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 concept of the short story, and then just built it into his own thing and Danny Kay um, you can't really point fingers too much at him too much because he is a laughable character anyways and I think that da uh, uh, Danny Kay if he had not done this film would not have debuted some of his talents so readily uh, in, in order to you know event eventually advance his career to being in one of the most classic uh, Christmas films of all time White Christmas uh, but, um, I really enjoyed, um, watching this uh, uh, film. I liked the comedy. Um, I liked the storyline. I liked the, uh, mad hatterness of the film. I like, you, I mean, it was part mystery, part comedy. Um, uh, he got caught up in a espionage type story with crown jewels and all that. And, um, he found the love of his life through mystery, you know, and uh, ultimately he was able to stand up to all his uh, family members and the people who were trying to control his life. And uh, in the long run, uh, he ended up with uh, the woman of his dreams to begin with. Um, so, I I like this film. Um, I'm I'm not sure whether anyone likes the, uh, likes this film, but I really liked this film, um, and I wouldn't change it for the world, um, even if uh, even if Thurber uh, had actually uh, didn't like it or anything like that. I mean, it would be interesting to see if there would be someone who would make uh, the se uh, secret life of uh, Walter Mitty into. Uh, what it was originally written as, but um, you have to understand that films are different animals than movies. You can take 
something and put it onto film and change it and make it uh, make it its own thing make it its own animal and i think that's the, that's the reason why <laughs> Uh, the remake sat in such de uh, such development hell, which I'll get to that later. In any case, thank you for listening. Hopefully you check the film out in your own time. And uh, you let me know down in the comments what uh, you thought of The Secret Life of Water Mitty. This film was filmed in 1947. And... Uh, like I said, I mean, it, it was, a, to me, a breath of fresh air. I mean, it's got a little bit of horror, a little bit of psychological val uh, value, and um, it was comical. It was, it was enjoyable. I don't understand why there was so much grief over Danny K. K. It wasn't that bad of a film. I mean, it went a little crazy. And uh, the songs were pretty cool. So, in any case, thank you for listening. Have a great day, evening, or morning, wherever you are. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the film. And then, I don't know. I just like to share my thoughts. So, thank you for listening. Enjoy. You were good, kid. Real good. But as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best, see?